Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Monday, December the 12th, 2022. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's see what the cards have to say. Moving into our relentlessly optimistic energy, being positively positive using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus our intention on creating our best possible life now. Let's see what the cards have to say. Oh, hey! We got the Hanged Woman and the Three of Cups. So this deck is a very feminine-oriented deck. And so you've got the Hanged Woman in her Cirque du Soleil pose, extraordinaire. As she overlooks all of the energy, this has a complete overview of everything that's crack a So she can see everything all in the nooks and crannies and the bigger picture. So it allows her to have perspective. Now... This also refers to being in the energy of being in a meditative state of mind where you're up in your crown chakra, high up above everything and seeing it just like you're looking at this camera view where you can see all the details and all the moving parts. Solid energy with the hanged woman. Then we have the three of cups, which is a double portion being given. And in my standard tarot card, you'll see that they are seraphim, the energy of the angels, pouring a double dose. But this is the connection of that cup, of the, these cups into this one cup as it funnels that energy in through that heart-shaped rainbow energy. So, double portion, wonderful ability to see the whole moving show, and let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit, Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles, as you can see, the three, the Pentacles that are in the air, not the three, the five. You can see the three at the top, but there are five. And that's the energy of, you see how they're not fully formed? They're just circles. That means it's in the place where it's being brought into this realm, into this wholeness, into this reality. And it's turning from particle into matter, but it's not fully ready yet. So you have to be in a place of knowing that the universe is working behind the scenes and it's not that it's not happening. It's just that you can't fully see it yet. Okay. So we still have the hanged woman here. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Okay, so we have our three cards. And our underlier is the Emperor. Very solid energy of something fully ready to be taken up and moved into action. Whether it's a job, this place is a very established position uh, or company. And the emperor is the masculine of the universe. That's why it's the energy of something fully developed. And the empress is the energy of fertility and new beginnings. The emperor is the masculine of something fully substantially stable. Now, it's also the Aries Major Arcana, for those of you who relate to the Aries energy. And we have attitude. Attitude is everything, everything, everything. I mean it. It is true. Attitude, attitude, attitude will take you either, it'll either sink your battleship or it'll take you over the rainbow. However you want to project it, just remember it's all about your energy. I attract success and positive people into my life with my positive attitude. So that's the, the high arcing energy of going over the top of all obstacles and being in the energy of overcoming all challenges. Being in that energy of having that positive attitude sets you up for that kind of frequency to start. Oh, hello, opportunity. We love opportunity, energy. 
I am always ready to take advantage of opportunities presented to me. So that's that's it. Just be on the on the lookout for the the positive things that are moving your direction. Be in a place of expectation of positive things. When you expect positive things, you attract them. Yes! Exclamation point. So the angels agree <laughs> being in the energy of absolutely moving forward. So love it, love it, love it. Creating, creating, creating. And our transition energy. So transition is when you're in the flux of change, okay? And it doesn't mean it's a negative thing. The frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence and our lives so that we can learn to let go surrender to the process and allow transition to occur with ease and grace so this card is the equivalent of the fool in the tarot because he's in that moment where the door is closing to the past and all the the um, agreements that were made and all of that are all uh, now cleared and he's ready to move on into the new energy and so that's what this card is all about i just want to look at this because i i it blinked at me when i was messing with this deck the frequency of of coherence is here and coherence is when something kind of gels it's like when you make jello right uh it's a when it becomes coherent it becomes that solid mass in the refrigerator <laughs> right at first it's just liquid kool-aid so that's that's the energy of that. It's finally coming together. Now we have invitation. We, your guardian angels, ask you to invite us into your heart. Talk to us at any time. Share with us your fears and concerns as well as your joys and pleasures. There is no need to be formal for we have known you before the dawn of time. In fact, we know you better than you know yourself. And we love you just as you are. See, this is like an invitation from just old, really solid friends. People who are your tribe. And believe me, the guardian angels are our tribe. They are always striving to assist us whenever we get sideways, right? Now, this is another smart one. Surrender. I had to learn to surrender to the universe and allow the universe to guide me. Surrender, allow, and receive is one of my main chants. Remain positive about the future of our planet, for all is part of humanity's evolution. There is a divine order to all chaos which you perceive that exists in our world. Nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all as it is. Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations, and your life will magically transform. Surrender to the process. Surrender your resistance to the to the transformation, okay? Because opportunities are coming through in that energy. All right, let's see what we've got. Strength. This is the energy of absolutely being assisted forward with the Archangel Ariel, the Lion of God. This is the Leo Major Arcana. And it means you will have whatever you need to make it through whatever uh, little part of the path you're on right now because that beautiful energy is, is assisting you as you walk forward. It's another word for courage to me. That's, that card just still feels like it's also courage. It's very loyal as well. Then we have the Four of Cups. We had the Three of Cups at the beginning. And now here's the fourth one coming in. This is a blessing in disguise. So don't say no in a knee-jerk reaction. Allow yourself to vet everything before you fully release it. Because it's just like accidentally giving away uh, money if, if you're donating uh, clothes or purses or old stuff you know you don't you want to check the pockets that's all I'm saying <laughs> check the pockets so here's the queen of swords which is absolutely acing it being in the position of ready for battle or ready if she has to use her her mental might or her physical might she's got both she's very intelligent this is the energy of having all of your synapses firing right and being able to really be productive and make headway and this is also acing a job interview for some people the queen of swords is the energy for air sign libra uh, aquarius and Gemini major arcanas, but it's the energy of 
going past all challenges with your intellect and or brute force if if we must right air signs don't really like to battle but we'll 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 get uh we'll get froggy if you make us so <laughs> that's the energy there it's not a negative thing though because there's nothing negative happening so she's using it in my best guess it's the intellect that's coming in because there's the well-established business or job that you are moving into so allow yourself to be assisted opportunities are showing up ready for you to move forward and there's a big fat yes so somebody's waiting for this yes in regards to a job so that that goes in real well so very much in the place of letting go of the past and moving forward in the new without any bumps in the in the in the system so many blessings to you my darlings have a beautiful day i send you lots of love light peace happiness joy abundance prosperity and divine healing to you all and i'll see you tomorrow namaste my friends